Hi guys, my name is Michelle. I'm a tutor for Chegg Tutors and I usually teach English, math, and psychology. Today we're going to be talking about action potential threshold. So in neuroscience, the threshold potential is the critical level to which a membrane potential must be depolarized to initiate an action potential. So what does this mean? When a cell is depolarized, this means that the cell becomes more positive. However, in order to create an action potential, an electrical signal that is sent through the cell, the amount of depolarization needs to reach a certain threshold, and that's what's called the action potential threshold. An action potential allows the neuron to fire and transmits information to another neuron nearby. So this threshold is usually between negative 40 and negative 55 millivolts, but it can vary upon various factors such as the diameter of the axon, the ion conductances of sodium or potassium, um, the density of voltage activated sodium channels, and the properties of sodium channels within the axon. Um, the resting membrane potential is usually around negative 70 millivolts, and it is altered by the fluctuating uh, intracellular sodium and potassium ions. So the influx of sodium into the cell through voltage-gated sodium channels depolarizes the membrane. If enough sodium ions enter the cell, this might be enough to depolarize the membrane past threshold and excite the cell. In response to this, to maintain the balance, potassium ions would exit the cell to hyperpolarize the cell, or an influx of chloride ions would have the same effect. Action potential threshold is very important with regards to neurons communicating with each other. It's how information is sent throughout the brain, and so if membrane potentials never reached above action potential threshold, information would not be sent to a nearby neuron electrically. Uh, that is all for tonight. Thank you for listening. Have a great night.